मुझे खुद पता नहीं था यार मैंने मुझे उसने जब कहानी सुनाई थी तो उसने मुझे सिर्फ मेरा हिस्सा सुनाया था एंड एक्सप्लेन द द जिस्ट ऑफ दिस फिल्म लाइक दिस इज वॉट इट इज सो मैन आई सॉ द फिल्म फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई वॉज सींग एवरी थिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई डेंट नो यू नो लाइक दिस इज देर दिस इज देर दिस इज देर एंड सर्नली इन द एंड इट गोज इन टू वट दे शोर आई डोंट नो आई मीन आई एम श्योर आई विल बी देर इन सेकेंड पार्ट but i don't know anything right now finally i mean after 22 years my brother gave such a big blockbuster my dad in a small role made such a magic gave so much magic to his character this is my family that gave me that courage to bond, bounce back my wife who always believed in me she's my backbone this is amazing that in one year three generations of the duels came you know that's yeah. another thing and uh, it's just it's just been an amazing 2023 i think ott platform really helped me in doing that class of 83 i mean it came one week before ashram so no one really watched it so much my brother says to me that ashram is your gather on ott platform till now whenever i go out baba ji ki jai ho sada hi jai japna baba ji i'm with an actor jinka introduction mein aise dena chahunga that from duniya haseeno ka mila to jamal kudu hum to grow ho gaye but ye abhi bhi young dikhte hain aur zyada hot ho gaye where i'm talking about none other than bobby deol sir who is here with us today hello sir welcome to filmy beat thank you so much <laughs> as a bobby fan also that everyone wanted to you know see you more in the movie what do you have to say about your screen time and the audience's reaction where everywhere i'm seeing like bobby deol ko zyada dikhana chahiye tha See, mere liye ne, what was important was that uh, I wanted to work with Sandeep Reddy on the, and then and I wished I would get a chance to work with him. I really love his work. So when he messaged me, I was like surprised when he first time messaged me. I told my manager to find out is that so really him? It was him. So then when I met him, he showed a picture to me of mine, and he said, "I want you because I like his expression." And then he explained the story to me. I had said yes already in my mind before I, when I knew I was going to meet him. I, I wanted to work with him, and then he offered me the role, and he told me it's only 15 days, and you're mute. I'm like, wow, I'm 15 days and I'm mute. But I said to myself, I'm getting to work with Sandeep Reddy, Vanga. What better can life get at this moment in mind? I thank God that you know I'm so happy he came. and i always had a gut feeling about this film from the time i met him from the time i heard it and the time as i was shooting for it i felt even more strong in my gut that this film is going to be special so it's not about the sp- screen time i think it's the the power of the role when it comes on screen how people see it and i did i tried my best as an actor to perform this character the way i did and the kind of love and appreciation and respect i've got for this 15 minute role is is beyond my expectations it's it's like god is showering so much love to me <laughs> and my fans and the audiences have given me so much love it's just amazing right i actually saw one of your interviews where you said that you had not much idea about that a sequel is coming at be announced like that in the you know last scene of that but now everyone wants to see you also in the sequel have you discussed that with sandeep reddy vanga like thoda sa abhi ki kya hone wala hai mujhe khud pata nahi tha yaar maine mujhe usne jab kahani sunayi thi to usne mujhe sirf mera hissa sunaya tha and explain the the gist of the film like this is yeah what it is so when i saw the film for the first time i was seeing everything for the first time i didn't know you know like oh this is there this yeah. is there this is there and then suddenly in the end it goes into what they showed so i'm 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 i don't know i mean i'm sure i will be there in the second part but i don't know anything right now yeah so i was just you know there are these theories that on social media <laughs> so i read one theory which said that aziz and abrar would be twins isliye usko twins bachche hue so ranveer kapoor plastic surgery se pehle bobby deol hoga and all those theories were there have you read any of those theories kai social have, media pe my kids have been following all that my kids have a theory how they can bring me back you know it's just it's just amazing it's like people are saying that they should make a spin off on abrar's character yeah. it happened to me last time like this was when i did love hostel when i played dagar yeah. they wanted to spin off on that so it feels good because i made an impact you know and 
I don't know. I mean, there are so many theories. <laughs> Some funny ones. They said, I'm a twin. I've had twins. That yeah. means I, only twins can have twins. Twins, yeah. That means there is a twin of me. Yeah. You know, and if, if Ranbir's character can get a heart changed, I, my throat can be fixed. You know, <laughs> so there's a lot that's going on. Right. So, of course, Dharam sir tweeted about you when he praises. Of course, personally also he must have said, but on social media, I think Dharam sir is amazing when, when we talk about social media and actors, veteran actors. How does that feel when he go ahead? I think he wrote, Har room mein, rang mein khubsurat ho, Bobby. <laughs> How is that? How, what kind of emotion you go through when you get appreciation from him? See, my dad is a legend. And if someone like him says that about me, it is the best compliment I could ever get, you know, and I just love my dad. And the other day when I came home, he said to me, so he's, he's always on his Instagram yeah. looking at things and on YouTube. And he said, so, I said, Hanji, Papa, I'm not going to be crazy. I'm not going to be crazy. What do I tell him? He's so proud. Yeah. You know, he's so happy. Right. So this year, 2023, is said the devil's year. How does that feel, sir? Dharam sir gave a super hit like Rocky or Rani Premkani. Sunny sir gave Gadar to Blockbuster. Now you have given a Blockbuster. How does that feel when you hear? Because this is something on social media, people are saying this is devil's year. It is definitely devil's year. I mean, God has been really kind to us. And uh, I mean, my people, the audiences, the fans have always been there for my family. It's just that uh, things didn't work out the way they should for us as films. And, you know, no matter how much they love you, they still want to watch things that entertain them. But finally, I mean, after 22 years, my brother gave such a big blockbuster. My dad, in a small role, made such a magic, gave so much magic to his yeah. character. He, he made it, no one else could have done what he did. Yeah. You know, so that's why the role became so special. So I just, and then my nephew's film came out this yeah. year. It didn't do well at box office, but. He was wonderful in that. He was wonderful. And uh, it's just amazing that in one year, three generations of the duels came, you know, that's yeah. another thing, you know, and it's just, it's just been an amazing 2023. <laughs> right. So, you know, one thing that I have marked about you is that Every actor goes through ups and downs in, in the industry and the career. But not many speak about the downs that they have. What made you think it's okay to speak about the downfalls as well? I felt that people had a wrong notion about me. People were saying things about me on social media, on the internet. And I was like, why are they talking about me like this? They don't really know what I'm going through. You know, it's easy for anyone to speak about others without knowing what they have been through. And I have no filters. I am what I am. I don't have a defense mechanism. I don't portray another person when I'm with people. I am what I am. So, when I speak is what I feel. And I said it. I, I, I didn't think I was doing something different by speaking about myself. I thought everybody should speak about themselves. Yeah. You know, in the true sense. So, I just spoke about what I've been through. I wasn't ashamed to talk about it because... I've been through that. I've self pity is the worst thing. I went through self pity, then I rose and came back from there. You know, and I'm not trying to boast about myself, but I think it's my family that gave me that courage to bounce back. My wife, who always believed in me, she's my backbone. My kids, who made me realize that I'm not being a good role model for them. And something snapped and I just said to myself, I have to work hard. I have to, I am something. I am someone. I used to be a star. People still think I'm a star. But I just need to become an actor and be recognized as an actor. And that is the most difficult part for everybody in this film, in the industry. But then I just said to myself, be prepared. Anyone can come knocking on your door and you have to be ready to face the challenge. And I also consciously try to choose characters which are out of my comfort zone because that brings the best out of you, you know? and that's what happened I think OTT platform really helped me in doing that class of 83 
I mean, it came one week before Ashram, so no one really watched it so much. But that was the beginning of me on ODT platform. And also, I got so many phone calls when I did Class of 83. Then Ashram is like... Huge. My brother says to me that Ashram is your gather on ODT platform. And the amount of love I got for that, even though I was a negative character, people loved me. And that was amazing. Yeah. I didn't tell my mom and dad and my brother that I'm doing this character. I didn't want anyone to know because... I remember Japnam had become that everyone I was talking about. Japnam, Japnam. Aaj ta Till now, whenever I go out, Baba Ji ki jai ho, Sada hi jai, Japnam, Baba Ji. And now with that, they've now added animal, abra. Yeah, you know, so you can realize, you, you see how the audiences have, has, it's been, how they've been affected by these two film and show so it's amazing i mean i'm really blessed right so of course you are doing amazing work in hindi film industry but you're also doing some work in south i think there's kangua there's hira Haramalu. how has been that experience of going down south and working be it tamil film industry with surya or in the telugu film industry you know i really can't i'm they've not really announced okay. i mean we're a hari malu what? yeah that is kind of stalled right now because uh, Pavan is busy with a lot of other things. Yeah. So I don't know when I'll start resume that shooting. But other than that, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to put myself in situations in in as characters which are challenging and playing working in South. You have already don't have the power of the language. So, but I know I can still do something out there and so that's how it is <laughs> right so uh, just before i wrap up this q a i would like to ask you this everyone is waiting to see all the deals together any update on apne too we would we, we're trying to get the script right because when we ypd1 it was a big hit but then ypd2 the script wasn't nice ypd3 the script wasn't nice so now we don't want to do that we don't want to upset our audiences and our fans we want they love us so much they're dying to see even after those two films didn't do well they still want to see a part four yeah and apne part two yeah so we're working on the script and hoping that once the script is really right we'll do it 